Hello and welcome on my channel, Wolf Aqua, your channel about horticulture, aquaponics and aquaculture. And in this video I'm going to explain to you how the nitrogen cycle works in aquaponic system and let's go! Our atmosphere consists of 78% nitrogen gas, SN2. The natural way to bring this nitrogen gas in an available form for plants and other organisms is with the symbiosis between bacteria and certain plants. Or when organic matter is decaying, microorganisms do a process called ammonification. Here, parts of the dead material is converted to ammonium. We humans are able to extract nitrogen artificially from the air with a treatment called harbor wash treatment where pressure and high temperatures are used to produce ammonia which can be turned into fertilizer for plants. In the plants and in the environment, in general nitrogen is an important macronutrient. For example, we can also find it in proteins or more specifically in amino acids. In aquaponic or aquaculture system, the main source of nitrogen is a protein in the fish feed. When we are feeding the fish, part of the protein is converted to fish biomass. However, during the digestion of the proteins, there is a lot of nitrogen in the form of fish feces. The fish feces consists partially of ammonium and urea. The ammonium is in a chemical balance with ammonia. This balance is influenced by the pH of the environment. If the pH is 7 or lower, the majority of molecules are ammonium. From a pH above 7, the balance starts shifting towards ammonia. If you want to go a little bit deeper in that topic, have a look at the acid constant of those molecules to see where the shift happens. Both ammonia and ammonium should be so low that you can't detect them in your system because they can harm and even kill your fish. As mentioned before, the fish also excrete urea. Urea is turned by an enzyme, the urease, to ammonium. This enzyme is produced by bacteria. In general, microorganisms play a crucial role in the nitrogen cycle and in an aquaponic system. In fact, the microorganisms use the ammonium and turn it in the first step to nitrite and in the second step to nitrate. That nitrate can be then utilized by our plants. A nitrogen deficiency of your plants you can see when the leaves are getting yellow from the bottom to the top. Nitrogen is mobile inside the plant and in this way the plant moves the nutrient to the place where it's most needed. The step from ammonium to nitrate is called nitrification and is occurring in an aerobic environment. If we have nitrate and no free oxygen is around, the environment is called anaerobic. In such an environment, the microorganisms together with the carbon source break up nitrate and nitrate to use the oxygen molecules. During this process, nitrogen gas, N2, is formed but also other gases such as N2O or laughing gas. This process is then called denitrification. The nitrification and the denitrification are both not only performed by a single bacteria. A whole group of bacteria is able to do those processes. The microorganisms that turn ammonium to nitrate are called nitrosomonas and the ones that turn nitrite to nitrate are called nitrobacter. These microorganisms are distributed ubiquitous so they are all around. However, it can take several weeks until the right community for the nitrogen cycle is established. And that's why it is advisable to start your biofilter material in a new system before your fish arrive to prevent stressful days for your fish. In the biofilter, we are supplying a lot of surface area for the microorganisms to grow on. And we take care that the environment has enough oxygen so that the conditions are aerobic. Because we want the nitrate for our plants and not turn into nitrogen gas. And this is how the nitrogen cycle works. I hope you enjoyed the video and you could learn something from it. If you have any questions or feedback, just post in the comment section below the video. I would be very happy if you subscribe, like and ring the bell for my channel. And then I hope to see you for the next video. And ciao!